guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run a cracked Minecraft 1.7.10 server. So what a cracked server means is that people with pirated versions of the game, or a game that they downloaded for free, is able to play on your server. So that you, that you can't do that by default, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So the advantages to having this is that you'll have more players on your server, both premium and cracked users. But the downfall is it makes it a little bit more vulnerable for hackers to get on your server. I haven't really noticed an issue with it, to be honest, but it does uh, open that up for you know the checking and stuff like that, so just keep that in mind. So what you need to do is go in the description and download, it, and download craftbucket.jar right here. Then you need to go to where you, where you want to have your server files stored. I usually like to keep mine on the desktop. Go to new folder, and you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine bucket. I spelled it wrong. There we go. Drag the jar file in there, and open that up. All right, so now we need to make a new file that will actually execute this jar file. So go to new text document, call it run, open it, and go in the description and find a, a uh, script there. You'll have to copy and paste it looks just like that so go in the description that'll be there make sure you get it make it look just like that then you need to go to file save as and then where you see save as type that little drop down here go to all files and change txt.txt to uh, dot .bat so it'll be run.bat will be the file name hit that and it'll save it as run.bat and then you can delete the text file there now let's open it up and you can see it says loading libraries so setting up all your files, you know, the, you know, what am I thinking of? Properties, your world, all the other files that it needs it to do and get set up. So just give it a second because it is the first run. And if you have a slower computer, it'll probably take a couple minutes. And keep in mind, like I said, this is because it is the first run. It usually won't take that long to start your server. All right, now it is done. Your server is running, but people can't join it yet. And it's probably not the setup the way you want to. And people with cracked versions can't actually join it. So hit stop or type uh, stop in. And it'll unload everything. And then hit any button to continue. Go to server properties. Try to open that up. And then go to select a program that you want to open it with. Go with either Word Pre WordPad or Notepad. I think WordPad or organizes things a lot better, so I'm going to go with that. And here is all your properties. So you can change, let's see, you know, your, if you want to use a whitelist, you can do that. Change your game mode and down here, like uh, the motto of your server, the name basically. But we want to look for online mode right here. Like that. Change it from true to false. Now people with cracked versions can join. You can keep uh, working on editing this and making it the way you want. I am going to just leave it. All right, so now that is done and your server is ready to go, but you do need to port forward. So I've talked about this before, and I'm not actually going to show you how to port forward. And I'll go over it again like I do in every video is because the main reason being it's different for everybody. So I have a Netgear router, it's a WNDR something, I forget the model now, I think it's WNDR 4500, I forget, but I have a Netgear router, and you know, the next guy might have a Belkin router, or a Linksys router, or Verizon, or an AT&T router, everybody's different. Some people might have this, well, there are people on this planet that have the same router as me, but I don't know if you guys do, so it's going to be different, so what I'm doing here, what I would be doing usually would confuse you so I'm not going to go over it but instead I'm going to explain to you what you need to do so you can just open up your browser and search for so what I would do I'd go netgear WNDR 45 oops, 4500 uh, port forwarding tutorial or just port forwarding and I spelled it wrong how to port forward on any netgear routers there's one of them that looks different though port forwarding Open ports are here. All of these different things and people asking questions, all of that, 
all here with that router. So, like I said, that's all you got to do is look up a tutorial like that because it is different for everybody. But I'm going to go ahead and run this server. And while it does that, I'm going to go and open up Minecraft. All right, you can see the server is already loaded, so I need to enter my username. That this is a cracked version, so I can enter whatever I want. Multiplayer. Do direct connect. There's the IP. Hit join. Oh, I didn't port forward. That's why. I'll be right back. Alright, so I port forwarded myself, so now I'm going to go ahead and join, so I'm going to go with Direct Connect. You can hit Add Server, you can enter all that information, but I'm just going to go with Direct Connect. Hit Join Server, and you can see I am on the server using a cracked version. I'm just going to run around over here. You can see that my username joined. I'm going to kick myself. I have to type out the whole thing. Must have a plug-in on my other server. Anyway, so yeah, that is me running around with a cracked version on the server. I don't have a premium ver uh, version to show you right now, believe it or not. Well, it's actually, it's not that surprising. But that is how you do it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, if you have, well, not again, but if you have any questions, you can just leave a comment down below, and I will do my best to answer them. If you have any questions about port forwarding, you know, just leave your the model of your router down in the description and I can definitely help you out with that if you have any problems but make sure you try it before you ask a question because I don't like when people ask me a question before they even try it so yeah that is it so when you want to stop your server just type in stop and it'll successfully and safely unload your server until the next time you want to use it so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching